In America, on average, children consume 35% of their daily calories eating food that's prepared and served at their schools. In some cases, it's as high as 50%. Now, that's a golden opportunity to make a difference in a kid's life. Because, you see, kids who are well-fed and well-nourished perform better in school, they're absent less often, they have fewer disciplinary problems, and they have a lower incidence of childhood diet-related disease like obesity and diabetes. So it matters what we put on our kids' cafeteria plates. Healthier foods grow healthier children. With that in mind, Concerned Citizens and Winners came together in 2011, and we talked about how we could boost the number of healthy foods that we were serving our school children. After all, Winners is surrounded by working farms that grow some of the best food in the world. Couldn't the farmers and the schools come together? Yes, we can, and we have. Because from those conversations, we started the Winners Farm to School program. Our mission has three parts. First of all, we fundraise so that we can purchase fresh fruits, vegetables, and nuts for our school meal programs. The Winter School District now leads the county with 93% of our purchases locally sourced and almost 50% of those we buy directly from the farmer. Now that's good for our kids, our farmers, and our local economy. So how do we fundraise? little advertisement. We have an annual Bastille Day feast in mid-July at the historic Wolfskill Ranch in Winters. 200 people sit down to a delicious multi-course meal. All the food and all the drink is donated by Yolo County farmers from breweries and from wineries. I'm very proud to say that our little organization, All Volunteer, just recently gave our school district a check for $50,000. That was the fruit of our first three feasts. The second part of our mission is we educate children about the importance of choosing healthy foods for their long-term health and well-being. One way we do that is we host a kids' farmer's market every week at our elementary school. With food donated by the Yolo Food Bank, over 200 kids go home with 10 pounds of fresh fruit and vegetables every week, and they go home with a recipe and also nutritional information about the foods they receive. Now we know it's working because parents have told us that their kids are now asking them to buy fruit and vegetables that they're trying at school. The third thing that we do is we're trying to reconnect our children to their rich agricultural history. Unfortunately, many of our children have lost their connection to the land, to where their food comes from, and to the farmers who grow it. So we started school gardens, and then once a month we invite in a local grower who talks to the kids about agriculture. We have had a lot of success. But in the midst of all the good things happening, we began to notice a whole other issue, and that's hunger. Sadly enough, one in four children in this county are hungry. For some of those kids, the meals that they eat at school are the only meals that they eat all day. And in our little town of Winters, with a student body of only 1,550 kids, we currently have 26 kids who are homeless. And homelessness and hunger often go hand in hand. It was breaking our hearts. So we decided as Winters Farm to School that we would feed hungry kids. Just one example of how we do that is we noticed that when parents were bringing in their their school-age kids for the free and reduced breakfast program, they'd bring along the younger siblings. Well, those kids are, are too young to qualify for the program, but they're hungry. So we decided to set aside $5,000 of our feast funds, and we feed hungry kids. It's the right thing to do. Every kid counts. Every meal matters. So come, visit us, see what we're doing. Have lunch with the kids, and please buy a ticket to our Bastille Day Feast on Saturday, July 11th, so you can boost us in what we're doing, because together we are making a positive difference in our kids' lives.
Well, I think you're ready for the real TED Talks. That was wonderful. <laughs>